Hey art friends, welcome to today's how-to where I'm going to be teaching you how to draw Robin from Stranger Things. So first we're going to grab our pencil or our marker and we're going to come across to, towards the middle of our page and we're going to start on the right side and we're going to start by drawing a nice big circle for that right eye. Now moving over to the left side, we're going to draw another circle for the left eye. So now moving in towards the middle of the page, we're going to draw the nose. So I'm going to start in the center drawing a diagonal line that comes down towards the bottom left of the page. Moving across to the right side now and drawing a line that comes down towards the bottom right. And now we're just going to connect these two at the bottom with a straight line. Moving underneath that nose now, we're going to draw a curved line that reaches up for the mouth. And now we're going to go in and we're going to frame in the eyebrows. So starting on this right side here, I'm going to start by drawing a curved line that comes down and then we're going to arch this all the way around. And then we're going to connect this at the top, arching this back down towards that bottom line there. Moving across to the left side, now we're gonna do the same thing. So bring our line in towards the eye, arching it up and then bringing it down. And now we're going to bring this line at the top across and then arching it back down towards that line there. Now we're gonna go in and frame the face. So in the middle of where the eyeball is, we're gonna bring our marker over and we're going to start by drawing a curved line that comes down towards the middle of the page. Moving to that right side, doing the same thing. And now we're going to connect these at the bottom with a straight line. So now we're going to go in and we're going to frame in the hair. So what I'm going to do is starting in the middle, I'm going to draw a curved line that reaches all the way down and then we're going to bring that up. And then coming from the center again, I'm going to draw another curved line that comes down towards the bottom, bringing that back up. And we're just going to keep following the shape as we come around. Curving that back up. And then we're going to bring a line that comes down. And we're just going to connect this at the top. And now moving over to the left side, I'm going to draw a curved line that comes out from the left. And as we get down, we're just going to make it a little bit wavy. And we're going to bring this into the side of her cheek there. Now from here, I'm going to draw from this line over here, I'm going to draw a wavy line that comes down towards the left. And we're going to end it back on that line there. And now we're going to go in and add some detail lines for the hair. So starting on this left side, I'm going to bring my line all the way over, ending there. Bring in another wavy line that comes down over towards the left. Now we're going to draw another line from this left side that's going to come all the way down. And we're just going to follow this down all the way to the bottom. And we're going to draw one more. Just like that. Now we're going to move on to the right side and continue to frame in the right side of her hair. So what I'm going to do is starting here, I'm going to draw a curved line that comes down. We're going to end it there. And then from behind this, we're going to bring our line down. And as we get around, we're just going to curve it like we did on the left side and then bring it all the way around to the bottom of her cheek. Now we're going to connect another line that comes down towards the right side. And then we're going to close this hair strand off. So now we're going to go in and just add a few more detail lines here. So now we're going to go in and add a few more detail lines here. So I'm going to draw another line that comes down towards the right. And we're going to do one more of those. So now moving into the right side, we're going to frame in some lines for the hair. So I'm going to start by drawing a wavy line that comes out towards the right. And then we're going to keep these coming from the center. And as we do this, we're gradually just going to keep coming down towards the bottom of our page here. Now we're going to draw one more that's going to come up into the middle. So now we're going to move a little bit lower and we're going to frame in her body. So what I'm going to do is starting on underneath here, I'm going to draw a curved line in for the neck. And then from either side, I'm going to draw a diagonal line that comes down for the collar. And then we're going to connect this with a curved line that's going to come up towards her chin. And then from here, I'm going to draw in a line that comes across. We're going to do two more diagonal lines here. We're going to connect this at the bottom with a straight line. And then from there, we're going to draw two more diagonal lines that come out. And then we're going to connect these again at the bottom with a V shape. Now from the left side of that, I'm going to draw her shoulder. So I'm going to draw a line that comes out and then down, bending at the elbow. I'm going to come over to the right side now and I'm going to draw in the right shoulder and arm. So I'm going to bring this line all the way down. Now coming back to this arm, I'm going to draw a curved line that reaches around like this. 
And now I'm gonna draw a curved line that comes in, and then I'm gonna bring a line that comes across to the right. Then we're gonna close this line off with a curved line all reaching all the way around. And now from the top here, I'm gonna bring a wavy line that comes down and dips out. And then moving across to the right, I'm gonna draw another line that comes down, except this time it's gonna just be a little bit more curved. We won't have that dip there. Moving back here, I'm just gonna quickly draw in her hand. So starting here, I'm gonna draw a curved line that comes out. Moving to the bottom, we're gonna draw another one, and this is gonna be her fist. So in the middle here, we're just gonna draw three lines, and they're gonna curve up towards the center. And now I'm gonna move into the middle here, and just underneath where this collar is, I'm gonna draw a curved line that comes down, and we're gonna move over to the right, and we're gonna do the same thing. So curving this line down, and then we're going to connect these at the bottom with a curved line. And now moving back over to the right side, we're just gonna quickly draw in that right hand. So starting on the middle here, we're going to curve this line and bring it around. We're gonna draw another curved line on top. And then we're gonna bring this line down, curving it in for her finger. And now we're gonna draw the thumb that comes down and then up. And then behind this finger, we're just gonna go in and draw some more fingers. So we're gonna bring this line out and then bring it back in. We're gonna do that one more time, just like that. Now coming up a little bit higher, I'm going to draw in a square on the right-hand side of that, um, that wrist. And then I'm gonna bring two straps that come over for her watch. Now moving into the middle, we're going to draw another line that comes all the way down from the top. And this time we're gonna bring it down a little bit lower and we're going to do the same thing on the left side. And then on the left side here, I'm gonna draw a curved line that comes out towards the left. Moving over to the right side now, we're gonna bring this underneath the hand and curve it out. And then we're going to attach these together at the bottom. And now in the middle, we're going to draw a line that cuts off in the middle there. Now moving a little bit lower, we're gonna frame in the legs. So starting just underneath this, we're gonna draw a curved line that comes up. And then we're gonna draw two lines down from either side. And now on the left side, we're just going to draw a line that comes down towards the bottom, ending at the same height, doing the same thing on the right side. And then we're going to connect these together at the bottom with a curved line. Now moving a little bit lower, we're gonna draw two straight lines that come down on either side. And then we're gonna close those off again with a straight line. And now on the left side, we're going to draw a curved line that comes out and reaches down towards the bottom, moving across to that right side. We're gonna bring this line down further and then down to the right of the bottom of our page. Now moving into the middle, we're going to draw on either side two curves, curved lines that come down towards the bottom of the page on both sides. And then we're just going to connect those two together with a curved line on either side. Next thing we're going to do is just stepping up a little bit higher from them, we're just gonna copy the exact same shape that we just did, curving it around. And now on this right side, I'm gonna draw a curved line that reaches down towards the bottom of the page there. And then moving over to this left shoe, we're gonna draw a curved line that reaches all the way over from left to right. So that's it, that's how you draw Robin from Stranger Things. I'm going to go ahead and color mine. You guys can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd love if you could hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'd also love if you could leave a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd like to see me draw next. Thanks for joining me on today's tutorial, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.